Good morning, children. Then let's start the same lesson. Deep water by William Douglas. So, in the last class, we had seen that how with the help of instructor, a trainer, he nearly in six months became a swimmer. Not all of a sudden, but bit by bit, piece by piece, gradually, slowly, he at last, in the month of April, he became a swimmer. He got his training, he completed his training. He had started his training in the month of October and completed it in the month of April. Then his instructor told him to dive off using crowd stroke. What is this stroke children? A stroke is a swimming style. In a stroke, one has to propel his body forward. In the swimming, a stroke means to propel one's body forward. Though a stroke has other meaning also. A stroke is a kind of disease. A stroke means the action of hitting something, striking something. Like with one stroke, with one blow, he cut the tree. But swimming stroke is a swimming style in which one has to propel one's body. So the instructor told him, dive off, jump off using crawl stroke. Now let's see. I did. Means he did it. He completed it. He, he swam using the crawl stroke. The instructor was finished. What does it mean? The instructor was finished. Means the work of instructor was over. His training was over. But I was not finished. Instructor's work was over. But the author's work was not over. The author says, but he was not satisfied. Miss still some part of his body, some part of his mind told him that he was in the grip of fear. I still wondered if I would be terror striking when I was alone in the pool. He still wondered. He had a still doubt that if he were alone, then again he would be terrified in the pool. Again he would be in terror in the pool. I tried it. I swam the length up and down. So to remove his fear, what did he do? He tried. Means he swam across the pool. From one end to other end and then again came back to the starting point. But now tiny vestiges of the old terror would return and while swimming across the pool the old terror some signs not the full terror, not the complete terror some vestige V-E-S-T-I G vestige means Sign, mark, some signs of old terror came back to him. Means he felt some terror. Trying to scare me. Hey, well, yes to you. Look. And off I would go for another length of the pool. But he challenged the terror. He told the terror, hey terror. What do you think? You think that you will terrify me? Then look, just before you, I am going to swim across the pool once again. And saying this, he swam across the pool again. 
children here there is one figure of a tree and what is this personification what is personification when a non living thing is treated is regarded living thing is called personification here terror just emotion but it has been treated like living thing so personification figure of this is is used here this was this went on until july this went on this continued means he is swimming across the pool from one end to the another continued up to july in april he had started and up to july he did it whenever he was alone he did it he swam across the pool from one end to another and then again came back but i was still not satisfied but still he was not satisfied still he had doubt that he had fear i was not sure that all the tenants had left so i went to lake wentworth in new hampshire died of a dog at trees island and swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp at island children wentworth this is the name of lake then it is new hampshire this is the name of a state in the usa dog what is this dog dog means here the landing the landing of the harbor where ships are loaded and unloaded dog means here the landing of harbor where ships are loaded and unloaded dog has another meaning also you might have uh, seen in the movie the enclosure of the court trees island this is the name of island stamp at island this is also the name of island so to test himself whether now he was a confident swimmer or, or, or not whether he was a fearless swimmer or not so to test himself what did he do he went to lake wentworth and where is this lake wentworth this is in new hampshire in the usa while going there from the dock from the dock at trees island he jumped up he dived up and swam across 2 miles and reached another island that is stamp at island what did he do to prove to test himself whether he was a perfect swimmer or not good swimmer or not confident or not he went to the wentworth lake uh, in new hampshire in new hampshire and then from the dock from the dock of Trigs Island. He jumped off, swam across two miles, and reached another island that is Stamp Act Island. I swam the crawl, breast stroke, side stroke, and back stroke. These all are the names of swimming style. In swimming, there are different styles. So many styles. so using all the styles whatever he knew he swam across the lake only once did the terror return he swam across so many times by using almost all the styles but the terror came to him only one time when i was in the middle of the lake i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water when he was in the middle of the lake and his face was under water and the bottom of the water was not visible that time the whole terror came to him. otherwise he never 
felt any fear. He never felt any fear. Only once, when his face was under the water and the bottom of the water was invisible, means there was too much water, that time he felt the same sensation, same old sensation. The old sensation returned in miniature. But that was a small amount of terror, a small amount of fear. I laughed and said, well, Mr. Terror, what do you think you can do to me? It fled and I swam on. But again, he challenged the terror. He told the terror, you, Mr. Terror, what do you think that you are going to do me any harm? No, he laughed saying this. And the terror fled away. He continued to swim. Since your enemy will try to defeat you only then he will know that you are weaker than him. But when your enemy knows that you are stronger than him, you are not going to be defeated, then you surrender. You will run away. So the same thing happened. Now the terror knew that he is not going to be afraid of me. So terror fled away. Means now he had no fear. He was feared. Yet I had residual doubts. But yet residual remaining left over. Yet we had some left doubts. Some remaining doubts. Yet some doubts were left in me. At my first opportunity, I hurried west, went up the Titan to Conrad Meadows, up the Conrad Creek Trail to Mead Glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of War Lake. Here the names of some meadows, some lakes, some peaks are given. Like Titan. Children, Titan is the name of river also. Titan is the name of city also. But here Titan is the name of the peak. Corner, this is the name of meadows. So what did he do? As soon as he got opportunity, he went to west walls. He went towards the west hurriedly. First of all, he climbed up the Titan's peak. Then from there, he went to Conrad Meadows. And then crossing the trails, the tracks of that, he came to the Mead Glacier. And then there, on the side of the warm lake, he put up his camp. So what did he do? He put up his camp on the side of the warm lake. The next morning I stripped. The next morning I stripped. He took off his dress. Dived into the lake. And then jumped into the lake. Warm lake. And swam across to the other shore and back. And then he swam across from one end to the other end. And then again came back. Fear in the warm lake. Just as dog copron used to do. In the same way as dog copron used to do. Now who is this dog copron? He was also a swimmer. A good swimmer. He also used to swim across the pool the river from one end to another end. And he had a great contribution to the improvement of the lives of the people of Yakima. Here, the narrator always used to copy him. Just like him, the narrator swam across the pool from one end to another end. So he completed it. He swam across that warm lake 
in the same way as Doc Ofron used to do. I shouted with joy, and Gilbert Peak returned the echo. He was overjoyed after the completion of his swimming. He was overjoyed. He could not control his emotion, and he shouted. Then his shout was echoed from the Gilbert Peak. I had conquered my fear of water. Why was he happy? Because that day he was sure, he was confirmed that his fear of water had totally vanished, had totally gone away. He had overpowered it. So now, that's all. Thanks.